Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to use AI to reply to your YouTube comment. I'm Andy, I do business tips and tricks to help you grow your business. So if you like this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe. So today we're looking at another automation that I have been working on with uh, Make. Uh, as you guys all know, Make is like an automation software that I really love and I love using AI at the moment. It's like, it's my new thing. <laughs> I thought it would be a pretty cool project and I thought it'd be quite a fun thing. If you do have a lot of subscribers uh, and you have a lot of comments, then this could really actually be something useful. There are some downsides to it. It's probably not perfect yet, but I think with a couple of iterations and a couple of minor tweaks, I think it'd be really, really cool. So let me jump in and show you guys how to do it. Starting off, uh, I'm using Make. I just want to show you the website here. If you haven't signed up for Make yet, please do so with my link below and it does help support the channel. So the first step, and I've broken this up into three different scenarios. The first thing is just getting the YouTube comments from YouTube uh, with a module and then that's going to put a the comment in a row in Google Sheets. The second thing is taking that row sending it to OpenAI uh, using GPT 3.5 to generate three potential replies. And then I take that reply, I've got a pipe separator in the sentence, and then I split it into three replies. And then that goes into three cells. So watch for new comments, add a row, search the rows for anything that hasn't got a reply generated, generate a reply. Uh, this is where I split it. And then this is where I put each reply into the row. And then I select the reply and then I post it to YouTube and then I update the same row to, to say that it was posted. This is the sheet uh, that I'm working on. Here's an example. I did a video on tax. Yay. So what I would be ex expecting the AI is to give me three types of replies here. I'll select the reply once it's in and then I will post it afterwards. So let's generate three, uh, some replies here from the first one uh, over here. So I'm gonna run this. It doesn't collect all of them at once. So it's gonna collect three different rows that need replies. Then it's actually created nine replies here. You'll see here on the next sheet, it splits it, and then it updates the row. So it's generated all three of these. Let me post one of these and actually just show you that it does work. So in this case, yeah, I kind of like this last answer. It's quite excitable. Once this is the poster, so I run that. It's going to take this comment and then it's going to post it to YouTube and we can check that out here. So turn of attacks and sort by newest here. And as you can see, I've actually, this is one of the downsides of the uh, automation is I actually need to specify um, when I've replied to it. I want to actually delete the row, uh, but you can see that it works really well. Let me just show you each of these modules. So this YouTube module, uh, the first thing that you're probably wondering is actually where do you get the YouTube module because Make doesn't have it natively in it. This YouTube module is made by MS Square or M Square and M Square sells this a preset um, module and uh, you can either subscribe or you can get a lifetime membership or a free trial but they were very courteous to let me use it for free. It's uh, still going to be a while I believe before Make can actually get their own thing. So new comments, then add a row. So comment thread ID, comment author. I'm not gonna go too much into de depth on these. You guys will have to pause and watch the video nice and slow uh, to get the exact settings at each point. So basically it's gonna search for the rows where they replies, uh, reply one, basically the first reply doesn't exist. It's gonna get maximum three. I always set limits on these things cause I wouldn't wanna blast through my AI credits. Here's my prompt, quite interesting. I need you to generate three replies for this YouTube comment in quotation marks. There's the comment. Separate each comment with a pipe symbol. Uh, you can use emojis. Each reply should be less than 20 words. Use basic English and always be quite thankful and excited to be replying. I've got max tokens, 1000, and everything else is really default there. This is how I split the uh, pipe into text and then I turn it into an array as well using two array. And then I update the row all this is pretty standard row number table contents but then this is pretty complicated so map the responses and then you get response one get response two get response three and then replace because chat gpt module pumps out the replies in quotation marks replace replace the quotation with space at the end of it so you have a clean looking sentence at the end of it and when you want to post search the replies 
you're basically searching for anything that's got something in the post field that uh, doesn't have a, anything in the posted field. Reply to comment. Uh, it's got the comment ID and the post. And then last thing, I just want to update a row with the row, the row number with uh, a link to the video that was replied to. That's pretty much it. It's quite straightforward and I thought this might be a really, really useful thing for someone. Uh, I did have a look around. There isn't actually much uh, in terms of this available. And I do know it's got some limitations on like how many comments you can possibly reply to due to YouTube's limits. Uh, maybe that's why it's not like a mainstream thing. I thought like TubeBuddy would maybe implement this or there would be a lot of like third party apps for it. There are a couple other guys that have done YouTube tutorials on it. I think this is one of the better no code options. And that pretty much sums it up today. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, looking forward to another video. Cheers, guys.